got a couple things for the air conditioner. I'm hoping this is going to work. I'm in the video. Not supposed to be in this video. Well, I am now. Hi, if you like my videos, please click the bell so you can be notified and come back often because I have new videos every week. I'm going to take this bottom part out because this is for a dryer. I don't need that. If I have to, I have the option of using that little screw there and that screw and I'll just screw to the ceiling somewhere. Oof, it's kind of hot and humid. I'm sweating just standing still here. I still have to cut. I have to cut this off. So I'll do that tomorrow. And look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh it is. It's perfect. This is going to be perfect. It's got the screws there. I can, I can screw it in. I mean, I don't want to. If I can try to fit this in without screwing it in, I'll do that because I'd rather not screw anything in there. But if I have to, I have to. What? What happened? Ah. <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, I thought I had the right one. This is not going to work. At the store, they had one of these pipes, and the pipe was three inches. Okay, maybe the inside of one of these pipes was three inches, and the outside was more. Darn it, it's not going to work. Okay, so this is just a temporary fix. It might work. This thing makes a little bit of a noise. I hear a bit of a humming. You hear a humming? Yeah, I can hear a humming. I think it's the vent, actually. The air coming out of the vent. Oh, you hear it coming out of the vent? Yeah, it's not that bad. It kind of sounds like a little bit of wind or something. Step a few feet away and let me know if you hear anything. A little tiny bit. But if a car drives by, it's completely silent. It's got to be right on top of the van to hear the hum. And I'm just thinking right now this is on max. Once this is on, on the lower setting, I think I'll be okay. I'm just gonna do it if people hear. I mean, he just said it sounds like a little bit of a wind, right? Yeah, it sounds like wind. Sounds like wind. So usually where I park, there's always traffic going by and stuff. And Yeah, when the, when the cars came by, I didn't hear any signs. See, there you go. Bye. Bye, I love you. Love you too, bye. The problem that I'm seeing is this this is very hot the heat coming out of there it's about 126 degrees once i insulate this tube then i think i'm going to be able to cool the van a lot better because right now this thing is putting out nice some nice cold air but this is emitting a lot of heat so it, it's fighting itself it was able to cool to 83 it briefly went up to 86, and I thought, uh-oh, the, the temperature is just going to keep rising. But, but then it went back to 85, and then 84, 83. So it was beginning to cool, but, yeah, it's not going to... I mean, when I'm over here in bed, and I laid there for a while, I was watching a movie, and um, I, I felt comfortable. I mean, I, I felt the cool air on me. But when you sit over here, you can feel the heat. Even my roof here is, is kind of kind of warm. I'm going to go to Lowe's tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can get some something to insulate this pipe. I'm sure I'll be able to find something. And then we'll try again. I'm really hoping it does work because this puts out some nice cool air. And if I could lower the temperature... Look, I don't care if it stays... If it stays at 80 degrees, if it's like 90 plus outside and it stays a few degrees cooler in here and I have this nice cool air coming on me, I mean, that's that's perfect. This is not going to work like this. So, something I got to fix. Solve one problem, 
another problem pops up. I got the unit working, I have it on medium. So far, so good. I don't even feel as much vibration as I did the other day. Hopefully, it's gonna work. I have it running on 12 volts. I have a 20 amp fuse, I couldn't find the 15. I'm gonna watch this for a while. I'm gonna make sure nothing is heating up that I have plenty of power. I'm hoping that on 12 volts, I can run this for hopefully more than four or five hours. <laughs> but I don't have the battery yet. When the battery comes in, then I may even get two batteries. All I know is that nice cool air is coming out of here. Before I turn this on, I, have, I had all the vents closed except for that one there and it was getting to be pretty humid in here. Right now, all the humidity is gone. The hose for the water is draining into my bucket. A little bit of water comes out of there, so it, it is removing the humidity. And right now, I'm at 87 degrees. So, even if it stays like this, I would be happy. But if it goes down, even better. I love my, my air conditioner. It blows nice, cold air problems that I've had so far with this pipe not being insulated now it's insulated I can still feel the heat so this thing gets really hot so without this insulation there's no way this was gonna work I am going to shut it off because I was down to 12.7 12.5 and now I'm back up to 12.7 I just don't want to drain my battery. I think I'll be okay, um, but but this is a problem that I keep I keep having. I have that with my Webasto in the winter, and now I'm probably going to have a problem with this in the summer. The problem is not every day is sunny. So today it was sunny more or less, and that's a problem that I have. I have the battery power. I just don't have enough solar power to charge my batteries. And I knew that. I knew when I change my older batteries for these batteries, I knew that that was going to be a problem. I still did it because I like to have that extra power when I need it. Before I didn't have that, that choice. But I knew that this was going to be an issue with the sun, with my solar panel not, not being big enough to charge the batteries. My solar panel is 325 watts. Sometimes when the batteries are low, I can get as much as 350 some watts out of those that panel. I mean, it's amazing being a 325 watt panel. But I, I knew that that was gonna be a problem, trying to charge 510 amps of battery power with 325 watts. I still did it. I would still do it again. Hopefully in the future, if I do another build, I will have a gazillion solar panels, a gazillion watts of solar panels. I'll be able to run an air conditioner in each window. You'll see, I will. Maybe not, maybe just one air conditioner. If you know me, you know I'll keep trying. I'm not gonna give up. And, and before I bought this, I even thought of buying a generator, either Yamaha or an, a Honda, and putting that in the back of my van, getting a muffler extension, and then getting a portable air conditioner. Now that portable air conditioner, like a house portable air, that's going to be, it's going to be big, you know. I would still do it. 
and I think that's probably the most feasible thing more manageable in my situation even if I get a generator to run this thing uh, that might be a good idea I just don't know if I want to do that I've survived in the heat for five years it's hot but I get used to it so it is what it is I'm gonna try this a couple more times I want to try to have my van cool down to maybe 60 some degrees 68 in the 60s somewhere or low 70s and then turn this on see how it goes from there tonight I'm shutting it off and that's it for tonight I still love it I'm gonna keep trying and um, if it doesn't work it doesn't work I mean I give it a shot and uh, my only problem is the power this will work but I just need the power to run it it is what it is if you don't try you don't succeed But more about that next time. Listen to me, O Jacob, even Israel, whom I called. I am he. I am the first. I am also the last. Surely my hand founded the earth, and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I call them, they stand together. Isaiah 48, 12, 13.